But if you think the bridge is a masterpiece of structural engineering, then up here you'll find an engineering miracle. The spider's web, one of nature's oldest and most successful designs. Unchanged in over a hundred million years, as a trap, it still works a treat. So what's the secret of the web's design? First, the spider spins the spokes and outline, giving her web strength. Then she turns back on herself, using a particularly sticky silk to weave a lethal trap for any passing insects. It's like watching a master architect at work. With her work done, she leaves a free zone at the hub and waits. But where does all that silk come from? Here in Oxford, there's a group of scientists willing to go to extreme lengths to find out. Once they've caught one, they then have to milk it. Without hurting it, the scientists can pull up to 700 meters of silk from the spider in one continuous strand. But to discover why the silk is so strong, we need to have a closer look at the spider itself. At 12,000 times magnification, a whole new world is revealed. Here on the spider's abdomen are four organs known as spinnerets. Each of them is dotted with lots of mobile, finger-like protrusions called spigots, which make liquid silk just a few thousandths of a millimeter thick. The spider pulls threads of it from the spigots, turning the liquid silk into a solid, and twisting several strands together to give the thread strength. Each spider can produce several different types of silk from their spinnerets. From sticky sheets used to wrap the victim, to an incredibly strong single thread. A strength which is completely disproportionate to its scale. Each fine strand is just 1 30th the thickness of a human hair, but if it was as thick as a pencil, it could tow an ocean liner with ease. But the genius of the web lies not just in its super strong thread, but in how that thread is used. And that secret lies in the water droplets at every junction. Inside each droplet, strands of web are tightly curled. Scientists believe that when a fly slams into it, these strands unravel, allowing the web to flex and stretch. without breaking. Industry has already learned from some of the spider's tricks. We may not be able to spin it from our abdomens, but when it comes to producing strong threads, we're catching up with the spiders all the time. <laughs> 